Hey guys, uh, quick video. Um, I'm going to do a re uh, review on some a couple of knives I bought. We went up to um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works um, outside of um, Pigeon Forge over the weekend. I bought a couple of knives. Um, first one is a Smith & Wesson um, pocket knife. Um, I'll take you up here. It was originally $21.99. They had it on sale for $5.99. So, I mean, hell, a pocket knife. I bought two. Um, this is a big pocket knife. Um, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a big pocket knife. I, I like it. I wouldn't carry this. It's sharp. I mean, it could have done without the serrated edge right here. That just ruins a knife blade for me, I think. You know, I don't, I'm not a fan of the serrated edge. I just, I just don't like it. I like a, a knife blade. I mean, this damn thing's razor sharp. I mean, it's sharp, sharp. Um, I would keep this in um, my truck, you know, EDC, you know, get home bag in my truck or the old lady's car um, or put it in a, a fishing pack or a hunting pack or just throw it in my um, bug out bag for an extra camp knife. Um, I like big knives, but I like pocket knives. I don't like them big. Um, it's got a good texture where it won't slip, but it's a Smith & Wesson for six bucks on sale. So you can't, I mean, you can't beat that price, but, um, it's an okay knife. I mean, it's a little bit too big for me to carry as a pocket knife, but it's got some weight to it, but, um, it's an okay knife for six bucks and it's a Smith and Wesson, so you ain't going wrong there. Um, let me get this out of the way here. Another one, I have seen this, and you've guys probably seen it, and I've always wanted them. Because, you know, I thought, oh, hell, that'd be cool, you know. But they were so pricey, you know. And, what, $24.99, they had it on sale for $8.99. I bought two of them. Yeah, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to get a good deal, you know. Um... Where'd it go? There it is. Um, I I don't know. It, it's um, this is the second go around with Sog, and um, I am just not. Yeah, I guess it would be okay. I don't know if you got to. A, I, I don't even know. I don't know. Um, I bought it because they said it'd be a good spear point, but hold on, let me. Yeah. When you're out in the woods, they said carry. You know, have put. You can put it in a broom handle or a stick. Um, that's heavy. I mean, hell, that's like probably two pounds you know that's a heavy spear point and um I, I just don't understand how you're gonna be able to attach it to a regular stick very well i mean they have no way of um tying it down you know if if you don't have a broomstick or something like that to screw it into hell it's going to fall off if you try to throw it if you don't have it secure right i mean there's no way of tying it down, you know, to secure it, and that's, that's heavy, I would not, I would not use that as a spear point, you know, I'm still cheaper, you know, using these stolen knives right here for a spear point, and they're even longer, and I, you know, 
if you guys are like me and you've seen this at the store and you thought it was it would be pretty cool to get it would it would come in handy don't waste your money it, it's um it's it's not worth it i mean unless you just want to collect them you know shit i can't even get the can't even screw the thing on there we go um I, I'm I, I'm glad they were on sale for you know eight ninety nine. I didn't spend twenty four ninety nine for them because I'd been I'd been disappointed. Um, it's just right there on the top. It, it's it's not all the way. It comes to right there. Then the bottom's all the way sharp. I mean, granted, it's sharp. The Smith and Wesson's sharper than this, but I. I I just don't. I don't. I don't care for it. It's not practical. I mean, who in the hell is going to carry a broomstick out in the woods? I mean, I want something if I have to make a spear and it's desperate, you know, that's heavy. That's going to be too heavy to put on a, um, a stick. That small of a stick anyway to, um, and throw it or something. You're going to lose the end. You know, if I'm going to make a spear... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these. You know, I've, I've done a review on these before. Throwing knives. Um, don't waste your money on this, guys. Unless you really just like SOG and you just like collecting knives. I mean, to me, that has no, no practical use. I mean, maybe to defend yourself with, you know. Um, it's got the weight to it. To defend yourself, I you know, small blade, but I, I, I was really truly disappointed in it because I thought, man, you know, I've I've eyed this for a couple of years now. Every time I saw it, like at Walmart's or anything like that, or when we got, went up there, but they were just so expensive, and I thought, okay, they're on sale, you know, um, you know, like I said, I'm kind of disappointed on that one. But, um, you know, again, the Smith & Wesson, if you guys like heavy pocket knives and long pocket knives, you know, that'd be a pretty good deal for you. Um, but like I said, I'd probably put that in my, a bag, you know, my, um, truck bag or the old lady's car bag or a, a fishing pack or hunting pack or just throw it in my bug out bag just for an extra, an extra knife. To use around camp or something, but um, the blade—I tell you—the blade, the blade's freaking sharp. But um, yeah, that's what I got. Um, I'm really not in, overly, in, you know, impressed by them or excited. You know, I was excited buying them because I thought they were going to be cool, and um, you know, they'd be good practical knives. But you know. I don't know. I, I'm not too too happy with them, you know. But um, you know they say this is balance for throwing, but that's a that's a heavy ass throwing knife. Uh, you know that's what it says right right there. Balance for throwing, um, and it, it tells attached to broom handle, you know. Who's going to have a broom handle out in the damn woods? Um, I don't know. But have you guys got these products? Have you seen these products? Have you thought about getting them? Just uh, leave your comments below. Let me know. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.